And thanks for tuning in here. As you can see, I made a, quite a bit of progress. And uh, finished by forming up here. I just want to show you guys before I go ahead and pour my concrete. So I have the reinforcing uh, metal there. And I'm not using any fiberglass on the mix uh, for my concrete countertops. Uh, I have the 2x4 here just to give me a inch and a half gap from the wall. And uh, I have my 1x6. I just have that lifted about, I think, uh, one and a half. Um, it's pretty ideal, uh, the thickness for my preference. And I just want to show you here before. So I just want to have them formed out. And remember, you have to remember a couple things. Um, the height of the counter to the floor. Okay. Uh, most of the cabinets and are about 36 inches high. I put mine just a tad bit higher. Um, but that's to my preference. I have my opening here for my sink. I already formed out. I just threw the level across and uh, just leveled it out there. So I just went around, marked everything, make sure everything's level. On here I'm going to have, uh, this is my overhang, as you can see here. Uh, I went ahead and tied all that, but under I want to show you here. I just framed up, box frame there, all the way across and I screwed into there, into my cabinets to hold it. These are just support and uh, to keep it, keep it at the same height. So, this is a before I mix my concrete. I'm using the Setcrete 5000. Um, got some of the plastic down, tarp down. Just kind of protect my existing concrete. Uh, wet down the cement board, because it will suck up the water from the concrete so a good tip here this is plastic down so you water first then you lay down and the plastic will help keep the moisture in for a little while instead of putting tape down and everything so just kind of helps out a little bit uh, so this is concrete that I was saying here let's see if I can get a good bag so it's uh here's one set creek 5000 plus so this is a high strength um, and uh, this is suitable for applications. Uh, I'm not putting any kind of color. Uh, later, if I don't like the color, I might just stain it. But uh, as far as right now, I think we're keeping just the the concrete color, the gray. Um, so I borrowed this mixer from my buddy, and I'll go ahead and mix two bags and start going. Here, I'll see you guys in a bit. Routine. Bags of uh, setcrete. Um, that thing was very, very helpful. The mixer. Uh, the wheel came off about twice when I was trying to get above this here. Um, most of it I did it with uh, the wood. Well, first I did it with the two, two by three here. Just to get it all level, just screed it. And uh, got my wood float, kind of flattened it, waiting for it to dry a little bit. This side's a little dry. I already got it with. Uh, with the metal trowel there and it was a square one but uh, decided just to round off the edge there so makes it a little easier less marks as you can see here looks pretty pretty nice there you uh, basically go uh, in a circle pattern kind of like like this and uh, let me sh show you over here a little bit so you go ahead and grab it and make sure the the top of the it is up and you go back and forth and what you're looking for is all that what, what I call is uh, it's just basically the concrete that comes up and then the cement I should say um, and then you just fill all the voids and, it, and you get nice and level and you get all the edges and and I'm happy how it's coming out guys um, just waiting for this area to dry so I go ahead and finish it off uh, I'm still debating to see if I should take those front uh, Covers, or I'll probably wait till it dries and then hit it with. Uh... Oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Thank you. For now, once it dries, I'm gonna see if I, I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, sand it. Probably will, but 
came out nice, nice and smooth, minimal sanding if I do. Um, I don't know, depends on what my wife kind of look she's looking for. Uh, I did take off a couple of these panels. Might need like a little slurry mix to kind of fill in the voids. Um, that or maybe just leave it like that. Uh, we'll see how it looks once it comes out and I'm going to cover it. Let it dry. Need to let it dry for two weeks. Um, before I could sand it. So, extremely happy. It is now uh, day three since it's been curing. I have had it covered uh, to kind of help it out. Um, here's the dry. It's nice and smooth. Um, on the edges here, I did go ahead and uh, grabbed the extra. This is already dry, but this is where I threw all my concrete. And as you can see on here, it's still a little bit. It's a little bit of the, created like a little slurry. Some of the cement came up, and I decided just to fill all the voids on the side um, after seeing it. And it perfectly matched the rest of the colors. But I did get want to go ahead and show you here on the form. So, see, this is my 2x4 here. Well, it's actually 2x3. I used the longer pieces for 2x4. Got these 3 inch uh, self tapping screws to drive them all the way in and actually grip into the metal frame and then I went with my 1x6 it goes like this screwed it in like that I had silicone in the corner just because of the rounded edges but I just got my regular screws screwed them in at the height and uh, I'm liking how this is coming out so you can see the overhang there, all across. And today I'm going to go ahead and take this form out and see how it looks. And it's off. You can see the overhang here. I think it came out real nice. I have a couple of my bar stools that I bought on Amazon, uh, which are pretty cool. Uh, but I do want to show this box frame here. So I just boxed it up there. And on this side, I added my plywood and uh, some silicone, you could see. Uh, but I did add uh, WD-40, and it came off really, really easy. Um, as you can see here, it's coming out really, really nice. I like how it's coming out. Awesome. Well, if you guys have any questions, please ask like and subscribe thank you